You is the latest single off Pet's new album, Imitation of Life. The Berlin band defines their music as art pop, somewhere between mainstream and independent. Can't you hear me? We wanted the new album to outdo all of our previous albums and take our sound to a new level. We visited Pet founders Monica Martin and Andre Abshagen, who had their own studio. The two, who are a couple off stage as well, spent the past five years working on the 12 songs that make up their third album. We're our own biggest critics. And of course it's nice to be able to set your own production schedule, but it's also easier to get a little bit off track. At some point, you have to set a deadline and say, OK, that's enough. We've got to finish working on the song we've been fiddling with for the past four months. Back in 2004, Pet released their first album, Player One Ready, on an international label. The single No, Yes, No made it onto the playlists of several major UK radio stations. Two years later, the second Pet album came out, once again featuring cleverly produced pop songs. A successful European tour followed, but then the band and the record label parted ways. We were actually so. In 2008, we had already started working on the third album, the one that just now came out. And the fact that we split with the record company, or that we stopped working together, put everything on hold for a while. That was a real turning point, of course. And we had to ask ourselves, what now? That's when we eventually decided to do everything ourselves. And that meant lots of work. Pet went about setting up a studio and founding a label. Then the newly independent band finished album number three on their own. Pet sees the delayed release of their third album in a positive light. There's less pressure to produce the album because no one's standing there saying it has to be done by such and such a date. And working on the album was enjoyable for us because of all the freedom we had. That freedom allowed them to shoot their own video to the single Talk To You. For Pat, the past few years have shown that doing things your own way may take longer, but it's worth it in the end.